December 17, 2022 Sunday of the third week of Advent Saint of the Day, Saint Olympias Today's readings First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob Listen to Israel, your father You, Judah, shall your brothers praise your hand on the neck of your enemies, the sons of your father shall bow down to you. Judah is a lion's cub. He have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches, lies down like a lion, like a lioness who would dare rouse him. The scepter shall never depart from Judah or the maze from between his feet until tribute comes to him and he receives the people's obedience. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. The mountains shall yield peace for the people and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace, till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. May his time be blessed forever, as long as the Son, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed, all the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Alleluia, alleluia, O wisdom of our God Most High, guiding creation with power and love, come to teach us the path of knowledge. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Holy Gospel, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminadab, Aminadab became the father of Nazon, Nazshon the father of Salmon. Salmon, the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse. Jesse, the father of David, the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam. Rehoboam, the father of Abijah. Abijah the father of Asaph. Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat became the father of Joram. Joram the father of Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Jotham. Jotham the father of Ahaz. Ahaz the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh. Manasseh became the father of Amos. Amos the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Zephiel. 
Chekiel, the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel, the father of Abuid. Abuid became the father of Eliakim. Eliakim, the father of Azor. Azor, the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Akim. Akim, the father of Eliud. Eliud, the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Mathan. Mathan, the father of Jacob. Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Messiah. Thus, the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Messiah, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection. The Gospel today is the genealogy of Jesus Christ. The Gospel opens by naming the many people in Jesus' lineage. The list begins with Abraham and continues to the time of Jesus' birth. Many generations are listed. Some of the names are very familiar to us, however, we also may hear the names of people that we know almost little or nothing about. Genealogy has become a serious hobby for many people as human beings. We instinctively are curious to know where we came from and who we belong to. Even if they lived a hundred years ago, we are shaped and formed by our families. Most of us don't choose our family. We are born into a family. We begin learning from our family the moment we are born, or perhaps even when we are in the womb. Jesus also was shaped by his family. Mary and Joseph were his first teachers. They taught Jesus about God, life, love, how to act, how to pray, and so much more. Take a moment and ask yourself, what did you learn in your family? What are the gifts that you received from your family? What do you consider the greatest gift that you received from your family? What did you learn in your family that was painful or disappointing? No family is perfect just as we are not perfect. What were the challenges in your family? How did you deal with them? Today, I invite you to take time and reflect on your family, your birth family, and also the family you belong to at this time. What are the gifts they give you? What do you appreciate about your family? What might be disappointing to you about your family? What is the greatest gift you received from your family? What are the gifts that you share with them? I hope God is one of those gifts. Today, may we give thanks for our families and the many gifts they have given to us.